Hey guys, welcome to To See or Not To See, and today we're going to be talking about race. Race is about the legendary track and field athlete known as Jesse Owens, who competed in the Olympics that were being held in Berlin, Germany under Nazi occupation. The movie stars Stefan James as Jesse Owens, and he does a pretty good job in the part. Like, he gives a really good performance. So does Jason Sudeikis, I think that's how you just pronounce his name, Sudeikis? Okay, as Larry Snyder, even though like his character is pretty much just all inspirational speeches, everybody gives a pretty good performance in this movie. Probably the biggest problem that I have with this movie, though, is that it just, it, it skips over too much, it feels like. It feels like it's just moving at such a fast pace, and this is almost a three-hour movie, but it felt like it went by so fast when I was watching in the movie theater, because it just skipped so much. And I even turned to my friend who was with me in the movie theater, I was just like, I think that they, they skipped over a lot of important things, and he agreed with me. It seems like the, this movie had a real issue with pacing. It, it really needed some work on the pacing because it just really, it skipped over a lot of things that really seemed important, and really, it, it seems like a lot of things were just shoehorned in. It really needed to be, like, paced out better. This movie seems like it would have been better if it was directed by Steven Spielberg after watching him doing Lincoln and Bridge of Spies. It really felt like it would have. If this movie, though, I it, I can't like say that it didn't it didn't have effort put into it. I could tell that there was a lot of effort put into this movie. One thing that I have to like give the movie credit for is that it didn't like sugarcoat a lot of the details in it. Like it told it like it was, and that was like something that like I praise Spotlight for when I in my Spotlight review was that they didn't sugarcoat the ending. And like the ending of the movie, like it does doesn't end on a high note. Like I'm like again, I'm not gonna spoil anything for you. I'm just gonna say like they tell it like it is. It was a screwed situation that Jesse Owens was in. Like, you know, America was, you know, pretty backwards at the time. So it's like, you know, it was they didn't sugarcoat it that we didn't treat him very well when he came back. It was just disappointing, though, that, you know, there was such good performances in the movie from everybody. I really feel this movie would have benefited from better pacing and writing in this movie, and I think it would have came out a lot better. Because this movie just, because, like, it skipped over so much, it kind of became boring. It became very long and boring and felt like I had to sit through it rather than enjoying it more. Then you got Hitler in the movie who's just, you know, Hitlering it up, doing... Hitler shit. There was also a lot of characters that I didn't think got enough development and that I kind of wanted to know a little bit more about it, but again, they just skimmed it over, which was really disappointing. Because of the pacing issues in this movie and the fact that they just skimmed over and shoehorned a lot of things in with this movie, I feel like they didn't do the source material enough justice, and that's why I'm going to give Race a not to see because it didn't do the source material justice. So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.